Sports Podcast. Welcome, welcome. We have Jean Paul Lee in the house. What's up, guys? What's up, buddy? How hey, are sir? you? Actor, uh, stunt performer, a martial artist, uh, director, writer, you name it. My first impression was when I saw you, this guy has some mad kicks. And um, so the, all the kicking start. Let's let's go straight away. Where did it start? At? Uh, is that a stupid term to say action actor? I think it's kind of kind of self-explanatory though. You still can be a very good actor, but you do do your kicks and and stuff. But we don't say horror actor. Oh oh. <laughs> do you see what I mean? Like it's, I was doing martial arts since I was a kid. Never stopped for like like 30 years or something. And then I decided to quit my job. Also getting into martial arts. What was the reason? Uh, my brother was getting bullied like at school. I have two masters. I went to business school for four years. So I got an MBA in luxury management. No, me too. <laughs> but I remember I was one day, I was you know, at the board telling people about the sales and everything. And I, I saw Jet Li in my mind and I just lost my train of thought. And I was like, <laughs> they, they look at me like I had to do it because it was affecting my mental health. Three years later, after Doctor Strange won, uh, I got a phone call from him. By the way, I'm a producer, very amazing uh, camera operator. When we shot that fight at 12 lunchtime, he told us, I have to go. I'm taking the plane back to, to Paris. And our neighbors are Thai people. They have Ong Bak. Yeah. You're like, you can't, you can't. That, that, that's what I meant by, yeah, do you have yeah. the raid? Yeah. You, can't, you, cannot, you cannot just make a film with these guys next to you and be like, yo, it's better if we stop because we <laughs> cannot go even close to them. The only gory move uh, in that film is in that fight scene. And the rest, he was like, no more. And then this, and I asked them, why are you guys coming? And they were like, one of them said, oh, we're so proud. It's the first film like this for our country. Some directors are like, whoa, what? So you're a stuntman or mm -hmm. you're an actor? Yeah, they see you as a stuntman, you know, like, mm -hmm. and because you're stunts, you don't know anything about drama. So they really look at you, okay, he's a physical performer and just don't talk. Just do your Kung Fu. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> and she punched me in the face so hard that almost knocked my tooth out and create like um, punctured my skin. But that was a stunt girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but okay, okay. all I'm saying is just like that that happens. You yeah, know? yeah. It's it's part of the job. You know, part like, of the uh, job. It's learning process. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's when you don't expect for it and then just come in your face. Yeah, just come in your face. Yeah, that's, yeah that's baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. To me, doing speed dating, that's the accumulation of the frustration. I was like, okay, no more. Yeah, JP is uh, not talking about the actual speed dating. He's talking about his short film. His short film speed dating. <laughs> it's like, can you imagine? Like, I have a director sitting and commenting on his movie. That's super cool. Did that scene, right? So, where were we? See, like, you're all like, Julian? slow pad. So we had no time to shoot. I'm your father. <laughs> Wait, what is, uh, I love this. Why Say is F word. Okay, fuck. <laughs> what, is, what? The, is the film industry huge, especially in North Korea? <laughs> North Korea? <laughs> <laughs> Reached the third part of the podcast. I forgot we're not serious. <laughs> yeah, for Talking about action stars, who do you think are the biggest action stars as like also the fighting stuff? When I look at action films today, there's nothing that impresses me. Like mm -hmm. lately, like I'm not saying that in a cocky way. I'm just saying yeah, as yeah. a viewer, it's always the same. The way it's shot, the action, everything, everybody, all that want is sci-fi, martial arts. And there's, for a first time, for me, I've seen Michelle Yeoh She's a lead actress, East Asian lead actress in a proper role. Mm -hmm. Finally. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It's like the title of my sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> when I read this book, it's so inspiring to to me in my in my world, in what I do, because I have to push it. There's no, basically what he's telling you is there's no excuses. Mm. And I met my parents and I told them I wanted to work in the film industry. My dad asked me if I wanted to work in production or marketing. I said, no, I want to become a stuntman. And he got like, I don't even know how to express it. He was extremely unhappy. Mm -hmm. So that's it, you're a failure. He did say I was a failure. You know, he was like, you would never make it. Asian people in arts, are you serious? You're not Bruce Lee. You don't have his talent. You don't have his look. <laughs> yes, charisma. You don't. You're fat. You're this, this. And I was like, right. But there was a girl who was like, is that the father of the actor? And they took pictures with him. And you see my father's face with my big head in the back like this, like just <laughs> taking pictures. If you're going with 99% of your wheel, don't do it. Keep your job. Keep whatever you're doing and don't do it. If you're willing to go 100% even more, yes. 99, just you're wasting everybody's time. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Bruno's Podcast.